Hey YouTube, this is Jared Double Two One Four Two with another Star Wars: The Clone Wars action figure review. Today I will be reviewing Clone Trooper Echo from Episode Five: Rookies of Season One of The Clone Wars. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite um, named characters of um, the Clone Wars line of action figures. Um, yeah, so I'll just give you a quick look at the box. It's a new stylized box from Hasbro. It has a badass picture of um. Uh, Echo doing the award ceremony after episode 5 um, when they are recommended by Rex to join the 501st. Yep. Um, it says Clone Trooper Echo includes Rocket Launcher, Clone Wars logo, uh, nice picture of the action figure with holding his helmet, there's a public symbol at the back. In the background, um, there's Echo putting on his helmet during the episode 5. Uh, now I'll just read to you what it says. After Echo's first battle with commando droids, Captain Rex marks the trooper's armor with the blood of a vicious creature that had attacked them. The body, bloody handprint, sorry, is Rex's way of recognizing Echo's transition from a shiny to a seasoned warrior. And that big creature that attacked them was the Rishi Moon giant eel, and it ate one of their, um, one of his comrades, um, cut up, which was pretty sad. He got cut up in his mouth. Yep. So, yeah, there's the other figures of the line. Now I have the Commander Joy, which I'll do a review next of. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's the box. Now on to the figure itself. <coughs> Alright, so this is Clone Trooper Echo. Let me just move it forward, sorry. Um, once again, this is not my uh, video camera, so I can't zoom automatically. Um, this is my digital camera. My other camera is in for repairs, so, yeah. Um, this, this figure comes with, um, two weapons and a helmet, removable helmet. Echo comes with this Gatling cannon thing, which is like a projectile thing. Which has a projectile launcher on it, I guess you can call it. And it shoots out like that. Yeah, pretty cool. You can hold it, but I don't like him holding it. So I keep it aside for other clone troopers to put it in. He also comes with a removable helmet with, uh, optic visor thingy, polarized vision visor, I don't know what the hell you want to call it, but, yeah, it looks pretty cool, that's all I'm going to say. Um, he also comes with a DC-15 carbine blaster, um, which I put in his hand, it looks really cool. He has, what makes him different from the other figures is, um, other plain, um, white armored figures is he has the mark of Rex on him, the Rex's handprint mark from, um, the the Rishi Moon Eel. He has a Commander Cody head, but it's hard to really recognize it because it's a different shade of color and um, a lighter shade and the scar is not painted. Pretty cool. Um, he also has a new kind of hair thing. Um, I can't, I don't know if you can really see it as well, but it's kind of like a grayish, blackish new hair look, I guess. It's really cool. Yep. So, you can put on the helmet it's a new stylized helmet, I forgot to say that, um, with the a more defined breathing, um, breathing, uh, whatchamacallit, hole, or, um, filter, uh, fits perfectly on, it's really cool, and put his visor down. Now on to articulation, he has a ball jointed neck, you can turn all the way around, look up and down, um, he has ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed shoulders, um, he has ball jointed, um, elbows, and ball jointed um, wrists, which is the new Clone Wars wrists, which are really cool. I like, and I like he has a ball hinged torso. I can turn all the way around, but I won't. I do it. Um, he has swivel hip, ball hinged, ball jointed um, uh, knees, and ball jointed um, ankles. Sorry, I'm kind of wiggling him too much. Uh, so, it's a really good figure overall, um, I like the paint job, it's really good, it's simple, but really cool, um, I would give this figure, I would actually give this figure, a uh, um, 9.5 out of 10, um, it's really cool, I really like it, and I definitely say pick this up if you see it, um, they're not out in Canada yet, I got this at, in the States, and it'd be a while since they put them out in, um, stores, in Ontario, at least. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Keep collecting, and may the force be with you.